So you've used the FX track here in GarageBand iOS to get a really cool effect on that track of yours, but when you go to play it back, it's not playing. Well, there's a simple fix for this problem, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And the effects track is really cool, but sometimes it just will not play back the effects that you've just recorded. So what I'm gonna show you here is a really quick way to fix that problem and to get your effects playing back with your track. So here we are back in GarageBand. Now we're going to use this vinyl record effect track that I used in a previous video. So if you wanna learn how to put a cool vinyl record effect on your tracks, check out that video. There's a link above and below. But what we're doing here is I wanna actually put this particular effect here, which is a bit crusher effect on this track. But the problem is that I've recorded it. It's all looking good. It's uh, got its little uh, automation curve there. It's pink, it's, it's looking fine. Except that when I play back the track, it doesn't play back. So what is going on here? Well, when you record effects like this, Sometimes if you hit record and tap on an effect immediately, what it does is it lines up the effects or the effect, and you can see here it's kicked in at the very start. So when we're starting this track, it's actually not recognizing and acknowledging that that FX track has even started. Therefore, it will not play through for the entire track no matter what you do. Luckily, there is a very simple fix. And what we need to do to fix this is to add in a new section. So we're gonna tap in the little plus in the top right here to go to our song sections. We're gonna tap on add. And then we've got this section C down here. We'll tap on the little eye icon and drop this down to just one bar and then come back to our song sections. Now the final thing we need to do is edit and then tap and drag section C up to the top here. And now it'll be our first section. You can see behind there, it's already put in this blank section at the front. We'll tap on done and then we'll tap out of there to go back to our song. And the last thing which I should have done is go back here and go to all sections and then tap out. So we can now see our three sections. And what you'll see here is that we've got the start of our effects now and it's actually here at bar two as opposed to bar one. So if you're having this problem, it's usually because it's right bang up there against bar one, having this little bit of a gap at the start, which I recommend for all of your tracks as well, it's a good way to make sure that you are capturing that first tap or hit or sound or strum or whatever you're using. So let's now play back this track and see if this has worked and we have our effects sound here. And there we go, our effects are back intact. So if you are coming across this same problem, if you're recording your effects and it's not actually showing up here, or it is showing up but it's not playing back, then this is the likely cause. Just add in some blank space using that add section, put it at the front of your track, you'll have one bar there, which is advisable anyway, and then you will be off to the races. So I hope you found this useful and this helps you out if you are coming across this particular issue with FX here in GarageBand. And there you go. If you are having trouble with FX, hopefully this has helped you out. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. We've got two more videos all about FX down in the links below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link in the top right corner or head over to studiolivetoday.com for more.